Hey, the all this is extreme and welcome back to yet another video of the new heroes. Yes, on this time, uh, last time we had Cerberus and this time we are going to take a look at the Seraphim. The Seraphim, uh, you all know me, I go into details about all the statistics. Cost 500, it's very durable, uh, relatively speaking. That's what you should think, but uh, don't take this uh, picture for granted. It's actually a uh, flying unit. Once it build, uh, once it's a build, it will be flying. And what uh, kind of abilities does it have? It has punishment. It performs a rocket salvo with 16 energy while it's dealing massive damage in the area. Works both in land and air modes. So it can always be used, uh, whether it is flying or walking around. It's like a glorified torrent, if you will. Uh, right, and it's a lot of damage. Just look at the figures, the numbers down there. And uh, there we have it. It's a very effective weapon. And then we got overdrive. And overdrive should be activate turbo mode at the beginning of an attack. Temporarily doubles the rate of fire and increases velocity by 30%. I don't know which velocity they are talking about, but the rate of fire will be 331. And normally it would be. Uh, let's see weapons. Weapons. Uh, um, I'm guessing this one. And this is the normal rate of fire. So it doubles up roughly. And that would be about it. Yes. For 8 seconds though. So it's like 8 uh, more, well, it uh, uh, doubles in, uh, during the time. Anyway, let's go to the matches because, well, we all see these upgrades and uh, we'll uh, see soon in the future uh, how it will uh, progress uh, once it's in the main game. Um, one thing is sure, uh, during the game you have to activate them. Uh, we all have seen that the Cerberus uh, costs Two and this one costs three uranium. In the top right corner, you can see the costs. That's what you need to activate it during the game. And this one is actually very useful if you think about it. Uh, so it's the Cerberus, but uh, make a choice. And if you want to have both of them, sure, why not? It's possible. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the battles. I had two battles. I'm just going to record them both and uh, cut out uh, unnecessary stuff. And why do I even say this? Okay, let's begin uh, with a hard uh, <laughs> wreck and mole. That should be uh, super D. There we go. Okay. It's a relative small map. I'm collecting crates by standing on them, and believe it or not, but uh, I'm actually going to have a little bit of trouble here. Yeah? Is enough, okay, there's the construction already rushing uh, this guy. Uh, but uh, he's going to. Uh, well, at uh, rank 20, it doesn't really work that uh, way anymore uh, at rushing. And he's placing sniper towers as far as possible in the middle of the map. And look at this! If I didn't trigger him on those sniper towers. Huh? Yeah, he built forward a lot. Hmm, interesting. How do they keep that construction yard so far away? I always place it uh, either close to my age water or a little bit further out. Oh well, I played differently uh, in the original game. Okay, so um, I know he's hiding over there. Okay, there he is. He's hiding even further. But don't worry, I'll get him later. Okay, I'm building my uh, special factory for the hero. And as you can see, I already... Uh, Activated the Cerberus. I'm going to build it first and then I'm going to build the Seraphim. The Seraphim will be neat and uh, you'll see soon now. Alright, okay, let's see. Um, I'm going with my uh, basic. Uh, I'm going to use only build. <laughs> and I got the Cerberus out. So actually, um, these two can get out at the same time, roughly, if you hurry up and... Uh, ah, that's right, you need a tier 2 factory and a tier 2 uh, hero factory uh, in order to get the next hero. Yeah, I'm going to do it soon is enough. Look at this, I activated already, need to save up for resources. Ah, there it goes, it's already being built. 
It's coming out soon. Meanwhile, I'm trying to see if I can do anything with uh, this guy. <laughs> Flying over the enemy. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. It's going to get out soon. Alright, hurry up, hurry up. Um, there it is. It says hi. La 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 la. I am a seven. Yay! And I'm going to use it. Oh, that one hiding guy. I don't even know if I got it. But, uh. And that would be about it. I don't even know if I hit them. Anyway, uh, the enemy is using uh, those auto turrets. They are actually relatively weak in health. Focus on them since they are doing dealing a lot of damage. And that's the activity of the mole. It can be very annoying if you don't know where the mole is. Look at that, I got a flying unit already, so I can see where he is, and he's actually over there. Alright, he uses acid on me. He already has both heroes out, so do I. I'm trying to get uh, close to uh, the mole. I'm trying to get. Kill it. Seraphim still very durable, so is the Sabaris. Trying to kill them all. Well, I uh, managed to wreck them all. No, I, well, yes, I do. And there goes his other hero. Oh, and he's gone. I don't know why I activated that. I, uh, I'm a little bit sluggish, as usual. Okay, so I got some uh, Typhoons, Zeus. I still got my both heroes. Trying to deal as much damage as possible. And uh, this looks so easy. I'll show you soon uh, how I played with resistance against Super D. You will be laughing. Because uh, he knows how to use these heroes more effectively. I'm, like, I'm using my uh, missiles again, but I should retreat my Seraph and it's low on health. So is my hero, my Serpairs. So low on health. But I'm going all in now. Obviously, uh, all weapons are focused, and he dies, he's gone. He's retreating, but I still got my Zeus, and I'm attacking him now. I need to rebuild my heroes, though. Did you see those auto turrets deal a lot of damage? Look at this, how much damage they do. And the mole can drive around. I'll show you in another video how effective it can be. The mole. But the very first time I didn't even know how to activate the turrets. Alright then, enough of those heroes. We are here for our uh, Seraphim. That's the real ID. Takes a while to produce though. Let's speed up. His voice reminds me of those of the orders of Emperor Belfordune. Yeah, I love to compare with other games and uh, leave me or not. But um, I'll show you something even more awesome soon enough. Uh, they got something awesome planned for the cyclone. Yeah. Okay, so I'm flying over here. I'm trying to take high ground. I got a couple of typhoons with me, and uh, he knows already that I'm coming from this side. I should have waited a little bit, little bit longer, but. Alright, then I'm going to try and attempt to do as much damage as possible on that uh, hero. I already, yes, to use this acid. He has a lot of porcupines, which is very deadly for the Seraphim. Okay, and it's best to uh, land if we got a lot of porcupines. Okay, the mole in action again. And place those turrets. And he knows I'm running away. So let's speed up. Sending my typhoons. Ah, my typhoons. Ah, my typhoons. Ah, yeah. So I'm back in my base. 
And uh, you can actually queue heroes now. Um, I this time started building the Seraphim and afterwards the uh, Cerberus. And uh, the Seraphim will be coming out first. Oh, that's right. In the new version you will also be dealing with big crates. You need to occupy a certain uh, region for like 30 seconds in order to capture the crate. It will take a while. Uh, first a arrow will be pointing here will be the crate. And if you're fast enough, it's not there yet. Well, I'm going to uh, take this opportunity to let a Super D take. Okay, now it's green, now it's there. I'm going to let him take the crate while I'll attack his base. He did not expect me to do that. Mammoth over there. Look at how much damage that, that those projectiles did of the Seraphim. It was ridiculous. Okay, so I'm trying to micro a little bit, keeping my distance, gathering my forces a bit. Shooting it. Uh, Alright, I decided to use my missiles on the Jaguars. That's a lot of damage. If they are stacked even more together, they do even more damage. Splash! Yes! Yeah. Flying torrent, if you will. <laughs> I'm starting to like them. They're actually very direct in their uh, approach. Resistance, of course, needs more knowledge. Okay, so just attacking that Rex. Second time. Ooh. I guess like foreshotting a Barrax? Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Okay, he's uh, having defense, but no anti-air yet. He's building mammoths for some particular reason. Using my missiles doing a lot of damage. Okay, so a stack of mammoths will instantly die by those missiles. That's interesting, you know. And then I'll just shoot the rest to death. So his defenses were broken very fast because his main army is in the back. There's the mole. Can we see some action from hero to hero? The ball is getting closer. He's really... Uh, oh, he's logging in my Zeus. I'm focusing fire on the ball. That's not really smart. You need to focus fire on those turrets. Oh, I landed my Seraphim. Look at this. Now it's a... Let me see. Alright. There it is. Walking. It's like one of those ETs uh, from uh, Star Wars, you know. <laughs> Just walking around, having fun, walking through the base. La 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 la. Just having fun, shooting at everything, going to the back of the base. There we go. It's uh, uh, relatively big. I'm still being shot by um, this guy. Oh, flying again. So I able. Oh no, I died! Oh. But uh, at least the Cerberus uh, survived. And now he's just going to shoot at the Jaguar over there. Boom! Haha! <laughs> Somewhere behind the building in action. Alright, so uh, I only got my shoes remaining now, and uh, uh, let's just say he's dead. Alright, but then I had more action. This time I'm going to fight Fat Squash on the map, Simon. Boom! See what's going to happen. Let's speed up. We all know Fat Squatch. He is just going to be very. Uh, his way. Uh, no. I got most of the crates, I don't know why. And there's going to be a big crate over there. It's green now, so I can get the big crate. Oh, there it is. There we go. 510 credits. I guess I'll slow down to this speed now. Let's see, what else do we have? I am now using a cyclone, and now we are going to observe how the cyclone is going to fly around. Look at this, isn't it lovely? I'm going to build more cyclones though, I started to love them a lot. I'm building my uh, hero factory. Okay, I should speed up. Even more. Get my arrows. Seraphim first. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to explore his base. Let's see uh, double speed. 
Look at that way it moves. You can shake with Lee. In the shadows. I don't know, I decided to shoot. Look at this. He moves sideways. Yeah. There we go. Sideways. Haha. <laughs> just looking at whatever he's shooting at. Nice. It's just like a. Uh, like a dragonfly, actually. But the, our dragonfly from the Zizzle Sides, I will not get this ability. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so yeah, it's armadillos. Ah, oh, no, he's dead. Ah, oh, but I know he's coming from this side now. And let's observe how this battle will be going. I got the Seraphim ready. I got a lot of Cyclones. My Saberos are standing over there. I decided to get a lot of Flame Assaults alongside my uh, normal Assaults. So those Zangerflies die. Yep, those missiles are a little bit too late. Um, so he didn't get that much damage. I landed on his Armadillos. And this army is a gun and a jiffy. I'm focusing fire on everything. <clears throat> there we go. I hardly lost any unit in that skirmish. I don't know, maybe even none. There's another crate over here. Must be that now. Am I going to get it? Well, yes, why not? Transformation! He landed, just in order to get the crate. It's going to be something uh, awesome. If they make single player missions uh, with them um, having to transform, that would be awesome. Um, we'll just wait and see. Whatever they have planned, it will be awesome. The crate is almost mine. It's 30 seconds. Okay, building defense just for the fun of it. Should speed up now. I transform him again and we return. I am going to attack with my two heroes now. I'm going to see if I can use them effectively. So he has the other turret planted over there already. Shooting at my uh, seraphim with a porcupine. Probably fire on the one. Porcupine. Killing the other turret. Focusing on that. Kanto. Uh, oh. And there's his smart idea to plant out the dirt. I use a gold coffee boost. Just heal them up. Now I don't know what he's doing. Ah, oh, that's right. So I'm going to scout once more with the cyclone. This time I'm just going to fly over, I guess. I don't know. I really love how the shadow looks like. There we go. Okay, so I didn't scout much. Alright then, we are going to attack head on. He has a lot of energy. I'm going to use my Seraphim to missile down on those energy. They're all heavily damaged now, so you need to finish them off. Something. The cyclones eat through them as if they are nothing. All the flame souls jumping forward in order to get that mole. But the mole has more than 150 armor. I believe it's like 180 at this level. All those anti aliens are shooting at my sheriff from now. Should have landed it. And then it was like I should not have landed it because I should have been fine away. Alright, it's dead now. I still got some. Thorns over here driving in. Ooh, we managed to get two missiles out. Those uh, outer turrets are really strong. And there's another crate over here now, soonish. So there's a little bit of a fight without heroes. Oh, wait, there he is, the Seraphim. Dealing a massive amount of damage on that armadillo, and the torrent fire doesn't even have a chance. Shooting my missiles uh, just uh, right beside of those infantry. Still doing a lot of damage though. Massive splash. So uh, the big question would be... Uh, if the enemy allows me to uh, shoot twice at the same spot with those missiles. Would I manage to kill a lot of humans with just the Seraphim? 
Oh, uh, anyway, it's going to attack, yeah, but this, this part is boring, because this is a wall of bounties. Alright then, he's dead over there. There's the mole. And actually, if you don't know how to use the mole, he's super weak when he's on the move. Well, relatively speaking. And there goes the mole. That that was a really expensive joke. Those canaries are just all in position. They're dead now. And uh, let's see. Can we get some more Seraphim action? I'm going to uh, attack again with my arrows. Let's uh, see this at normal speed. There's a sniper hiding over there. I can't land in the bushes. And there they are, again a lot of infantry, so I'm going to use it, I'm going to use the Punisher again. Whew. But it will cost me daily, there goes the Seraphim, I don't know, I think that was a bad move of me. I'm just going with mass torrents. There they are, the outer turrets. So those outer turrets don't stand a chance if mass torrents are present. So I wonder if you place the outer turret right next to a turn. Okay, this is the big attack. Severus standing in the middle just shooting his rockets and the mole just standing in the middle just, just pretending it's not there gets a lot of rash of those turns look at how durable <laughs> hardly any damage it's still there and it's digging out it's moving around big mistake oh what is he going to do is he going to attack no Uh, there they are, the outer turrets. I'm trying to kill the bull. The outer turrets actually automatically disappear when the bull dies. Will he survive? Will he survive? No, oh, the ammo's dead. <laughs> that was a sad death. Hmm. Okay, building another army. Just for fun, having fun. Okay, so his idea was to uh, get rid of my uh, H baller. Uh, actually, my hero factory. But I got so many anti air, he dies. And I, obviously, I use the anti air, the uh, air boost. All his hogs are gone now, he should have kept them uh, for defending. The army is complete, going to get the crate again. There we go. Okay, so he's going to attack me here yeah, with a lot of uh, infantry again. There's a couple of hogs again. Yeah. 
There we go. <clears throat> Need that now. You know, I'm flying around all the time, but I wonder how effective uh, the Seraphim can be if I walk around. I did not do that. You get it flying, I bet most people just keep it flying. Today, if you notice a lot of buggy behind the land, the thing. Jeez. <laughs> Okay, getting into position, but I guess it's over already. There we go. And victory is mine. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the, the new images of the Seraphim and the more and, uh, in the other video I'll be showcasing the ball hope you all enjoyed click click bye now <laughs>